Good evening, Michelle. It's great to have you on the show tonight. Thanks so much. It's great to be here. Now, I understand you have a new book out. Tell us about it. It is fantastic. It is a women's Bible study called Jacob Journaling the Journey. It will wash your car, clean your house, make your children behave and teach your husband to put the toilet seat down. Really? No. It is a book, not a magic wand. But it will do something even better than all that. Better than a husband who puts the toilet seat down? Impossible. With God, all things are possible. <laughs> yes, and with my husband, it is a good thing God is still in the miracle business. So what makes this book so great? It's not the book that is great. It's the great God you can get to know better by using this book to study His Word. You see, it's when we dig down deeply into the Bible that we grow closer to Him and hear Him speaking to us. I don't get it. I've done lots of Bible studies. What makes this one so different? In my book, Jacob Journaling the Journey, you won't study a topic. You will study a person's life from birth to death. You will learn from his mistakes and his successes. Each day's lesson starts with a scripture reading, followed by expositional teaching. At the end of the lesson there's space for journaling with some open-ended questions to get you thinking. You can journal about whatever God taught you that day, so this study will be unique to you. It sounds like a lot of work. It is a little more work than a traditional, fill-in-the-blank type of study, but it is broken down into manageable daily lessons. And anyway, isn't a closer relationship with God worth a little effort? You are right. Where can I get a copy of Jacob Journaling the Journey? Jacob Journaling the Journey by Michelle Leslie is available at christianbook.com, amazon.com, and barnesandnoble.com. And you can join me on my Facebook page, Michelle Leslie Author, and on my website, michellelesliebooks.com, for sneak peeks of the book, and other fun stuff. But it really won't make my husband put the toilet seat down? Afraid not. You will just have to pray about that one. No!